I 
Well, well, I know a man who can. He can do anything but fail. And that's why we are confident that as we gather together tonight, and as we ask him to help us, he surely will help us. Now, all these things we pray about, there's nothing we can do about them. We don't have the strength. We don't have the power. We don't have the ability. We don't have nothing. But we can lean on the everlasting arms. And we can get help in time of need. I'd like to say a big welcome to each and every one of you to a brand new week and to a brand new series of prayers. Even as we continue where we left off last week. Good evening. And welcome back to the second part of our prayers. In the series, Challenging Our Challenges. That's the man that can help us. None of us dare stand before all these things we're praying about. But we know a man that can stand for us as we stand behind him. And his name is Jesus. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we welcome you to this place today. We know you got here before we got here. And we thank you because of your promise that we are two or three are gathered together in your name. There you are in the midst of them. Even though we are scattered around the world. We know you are in our midst, ready to hear us, and ready to grant our petitions. We need your grace tonight, Lord, to be able to pray and to be able to seek you effectively. I pray you will give me the anointing to be able to lead these prayers, and you will give your people, wherever they may be around the world, the grace to be able to pray them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And amen. Let me quickly go over some of the uh, thoughts that I shared with you on last week. Talking about challenges. As you know, life is full of them. And I doubt if there is anyone on this prayer line that does not have one challenge or another. Something happened to somebody today. And I looked at her and I said, I guess that's a challenge, right? And she laughed. Yeah, it's a challenge. It's a part of life, people. In fact, I told you last week, there will have been no need for prayer if there were no challenges in life. We'll just be praising God, praising God, praising God, praising God. Of course, you can praise your way through the mountain of a challenge too. But sadly, from the book of Genesis chapter 3, when our first parents fell apart, Spiritually speaking, well, one of the packages we inherited from them are the challenges of life. And I told you on last week that a challenge is something that by its nature or character serves as a call to battle. It's a contest. It's a strange, difficult, and possibly unpleasant pleasant thing. And that's what you're facing when you have a challenge before you. It's difficult, it's strange, and it's unpleasant. Sometimes it's grim, brazen. And I hate to use the word unyielding. That's why last week, this time, we prayed about mountains. But talking about these challenges, there has been enough to go around since the God introduced in Genesis chapter 3. The young have their own, <laughs> and the old have their own too. Even those in the womb have their own. So if you are listening to me tonight and you are facing some challenges and you are wondering, why is my own life like this? Well, you are the daughter or the son of Eve and Adam. It comes along with challenges. As long as you live on this cursed earth, Challenges are part of life. They are designed for every area of life that you find yourself. If you are young, there are those that are designed for you. If you are old, there are those that are designed for you. If you are a student, there are challenges peculiar to students. If you are single, 
There are challenges peculiar to singles. If you are pregnant, there are challenges peculiar to pregnant women. If you are waiting on God for the fruit of the womb, there are, it's just all over the place, folks. And that's why we just want to face it for another week in prayer and in supplication that God will walk for us and deliver us from these challenges. I don't know what your challenges are. I want you to have them at the back of your mind. Even as we pray these prayers tonight, so that when I give a prayer point, don't just pray a general prayer. I want you to focus on what your challenge is and use that to talk to the God of heaven. Immediately after the fall in Genesis chapter 3, challenges that never existed on earth began to creep up. And man has had to contend with them ever since. You know, I spoke last week of words that came up for the first time after the fall of man. They are challenging words that have stayed with man ever since. I said last week that the first word after the fall that was introduced as a challenge was the word enmity. We prayed about enmity last week. We prayed about the challenge on Thursday about enmity. And then the second word, that alerts us to challenges in life is the word sorrow. You know, I've talked to several people today who just called me or uh, texted me and they wanted me to discuss some things with them and pray for them. You'll be surprised. Over 90% of them had sorrows in their lives. That's just what we contend with on a daily basis. Some of them had to restrain themselves from crying. It's a common thing, folks, challenges. And we prayed about sorrow last week, and we said life is full of them, and they need to be constantly prayed about and prayed against. Well, tonight, mm, tonight, I would like to alert you of another common challenge that mankind faces. It is introduced by a word mentioned twice in that third chapter of the book of Genesis. Both words are found where enmity and sorrow are mentioned. Let me, let me read it to you. Genesis chapter 3 in verse 14 and in verse 17. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art Cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field, and upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of your life. Now look at verse 17. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. In verse 16, folks, a new word that we never saw before. Actually, in verse 14, a new word that we never saw before entered into the world and was added to the dictionary of man. And it has become a major challenge since that time. You know what the word is? The word C-U-R-S-E, curse, curse. It was pronounced upon the serpent as well as upon the man in verse 17. From that time, ladies and gentlemen, that challenge has got stronger and stronger. Where there is enmity, you see a curse. 
where there are sorrows, you are likely to see a curse. They mingle together and they walk hand in hand. What is a curse? I think I told you this before. A curse is anything that is the opposite of a blessing. I'm sure you remember I said that before. That's the simplest definition you can give for what a curse is. Anything that is the opposite of a blessing. So, when you look around you and see things that run contrary to blessing, then you know there is a curse around. It is the opposite of a blessing. Now, that means that whatever you see in your life that is the opposite of a blessing need to be challenged. Did you hear what I said? Maybe I should repeat myself. Whatever you see in your life that is the opposite of a blessing, you need to stand up against it and challenge it. If you need to fast about it, fast about it. If you need to do a night vigil, go ahead and do it. But don't accept any curse upon your life. Don't accept anything that is the opposite of blessing upon your, upon your life, upon your children's life, upon your family life. Deal with it in your academic life. Deal with it in your marital life. Deal with it in your business life. And it will have no choice but to crumble. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But let me say this. Sometimes a curse comes directly from Satan himself, like he put on Job and his family. At other times, curses come from human agents. But there are other times when curses come from humans to human, not necessarily agents of devils, just people who get mad with you and they curse you. And if you have done something truly wrong, the curse that they pronounce on you will come to pass. You know, I felt like cursing somebody this morning who did something wrong. And I said, no, I'm just going to bless him instead of curse him. Because if I curse him because of what he did, the curse is going to come upon him. And I'm not a witch. I'm not a wizard. But when you do something deserving a curse and somebody pronounces a curse upon you that you will never be this, you will never be that, that this is how to be for you, that is how to be for you, and you actually deserve that curse, it becomes your portion from Genesis chapter 3. At other times, though, curses come from God, directly from God like it came on our father and our mother in Genesis chapter 3. God pronounces curses in situations as repercussion for unrighteousness, as reward for sin. But at other times, curses are inherited. You know how blessings are inherited? The same way blessings are inherited, curses can be inherited. You know, people that inherit a house, they inherit uh, life insurance, they inherit good things from their parents the same way. Like a baton, a bad thing and a bad curse can go from generation to generation. That's why we have come to pray tonight. And I hope you are ready for it. But excuse me, please, one more second. Before you pray, I have a document right here with me. Yes, there's a document right here with me about curses that I would like to read to you tonight before we pray. You know, one of the best ways to fight is to gather intelligence about the enemy. And this document in my hand right here is intelligence from the enemy. The document that I'm reading to you tonight, listen to this, people, was put together by someone who knows the in and out of curses and how to use it against people. And he put this document together 
and here I am. It got into my hand today, and we're talking about crosses today. The information that I'm about to read to you ha, is from the horse's mouth, oh, and it is information about what to expect when crosses are at work against a person. These are what he called the telltale signs. And he published them. All right. And I got hold of it. That when they speak, they are cursed. And it's one of them. That when they speak, they are cursed. Those that they have cursed will be experiencing some things. And you know what he did? He listed 10 things. I'm going to read those 10 things to you. That he said, these are the uh, telltale signs that you may be operating under our curse. All right? I'm not talking about how they do it. That's none of my business. I'm not talking about what they put together to make it possible. That will be going beyond the scriptures. But I'm telling you what they said are the signs you will see in your life if you are under their curse. This is interesting. Let me read it to you. It says, so how do you know when you are cursed? Those are not my own words. That's his own words. How do you know that you are cursed? What are the telltale signs that you have been spiritually compromised? There are many indications. But I'm going to give you 10 signs that are highly, highly suggestive that you are suffering from the hateful effects of a curse. Number one, nightmares. Did you hear that? Nightmares. And he said, persistent or recurring bad dreams could be a sign that an evil worker has gained access into your mind. I reject it. Dreams of being killed, dreams of being injured, dreams of being bitten by a snake, or stung by a scorpion, or falling from a great height, or climbing a mountain, a surefire indication that you have been cursed. I'm not the one who said it. It's the people who do it that said it. And you know what? I believe it. I'm a deliverance minister. It's true. Look at the next thing. This is so revealing. He said another sign that you may be under a curse is loss of energy. You hear that? If you were once full of energy and zest for life, but now you are listless and prone to gloomy thoughts, the cause might very well be a hex. Number three, financial loss. If you have lost your job or home, or taking some other monetary heat, the root cause could be, very well be, a jinx, a hex, a curse is working against you. Number four, relationship difficulties. Somebody is taking note, I can see you. Relationship difficulties. If things were going well with your marriage, and there is committed and commitment in the relationship. And suddenly it turns sour without warning. Someone could be walking evil against you. Perhaps they have hit you with break up curse. Number five, health problems. If you have unexplainable health issues, strange allergies, nagging headaches, panic attacks, fear of leaving your home, fear of driving, fear of heights, and so on and so forth. It might be a natural illness or even a natural looking natural condition. You may very well be under a curse. Number six, bad omens. And this one calls for explanation, but I don't have the time to explain it. But these are realities. Let me jump to number seven. My time is going. Number seven, unexplainable pains. 
Mm, unexplainable pains. If you get nagging pains anywhere in your body that you cannot explain, unexplainable aches in your lower back or in your stomach or even pains in your legs, someone may be picking needles on voodoo dolls against your life. All that started. <laughs> And the door got open for it in Genesis chapter 3. Number 8. Listen to Bishop. Trouble sleeping. If you suddenly wake up in the night and cannot go back to sleep again, it may be a sign that a dark root doctor is targeting you with bad things. Perhaps driving a pain into the heart of a voodoo doll. And that is what woke you up with a heart-rending start. Number nine, how do you know? Telltale signs, legal problems, legal problems, legal problems that refuse to go away. If you've been hit by a lawsuit or criminal charges, this could be the down to bad curse. Blighting your life and leading you into trouble. I'm reading what they wrote to. I'm not the one who wrote it to. They wrote it to. They wrote it. But I agree with them because I see it in many lives. And in prayer, we discover that people have been under a curse. Now look at number 10. Bad luck. Bad luck. We married the first wife. That one died. You married the second wife. That one died. I'm the one speaking now. You married the third wife. That one died. And you wonder, why do I have such a bad luck? Somebody might be working something against you. It says bad luck. Now, let me read what it said. If you're experiencing long runs, long runs of bad luck and misfortune, the most likely cause is the baitful effects of a jinx laid on you by an enemy or a jealous person. Now, those are the 10 things they said. I don't have time to go over them again. You can listen to the episode and, and, and get them out. But this was the conclusion of what they wrote. Now, these people are not Christians. So these people are people that walk jinxes, that walk hexes, that walk curses. And they know what these things. You know, when I read this, I thought it was a, a deliverance minister that wrote it. Because these are things I will have said without reading their own document. But here is their document, people. Hear what else they wrote. And with that, I close. Oh, this is so scary and so stupid. Hear what they said. But you must bear in mind that the force of these curses come in three waves, each more serious than the last. So if you believe you've been hit with a curse, the next wave and the one after will be far, far worse than the one you just got out of. Therefore, now look at what it said next. Therefore, you need to take immediate action. And they wrote immediate action in block letters, in capital letters. You know how we suspend and postpone prayer? After God wakes you up and say, pray about this thing or else it will, it will get worse. They themselves, they are saying, take immediate action. Look at what it says next. Delay at your own peril. Lord have mercy. It is the exact opposite of the old saying that things will only get better. And then the person wrote, believe me, they will only get worse. Much much worse. Hey, these things are real, oh, very, very real from Genesis chapter 3. I did not read that so you can be afraid. Uh-uh. I read that so you can appreciate the victory that Jesus won for us on the cross of Calvary. One of the reasons mentioned why Christ came and died was because there was too much curses going around in the world. So the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 verse 13, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law 
being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. That is what gives us the boldness tonight to challenge all these things. Whatever has a resemblance of a curse in your life. Now, it doesn't mean that all these 10 things are necessarily as a result of a curse. You will hear even the practitioner saying it is likely to be. It might be. Probably it is. All right? So it doesn't mean that all these things are as a result of curses. But trust me, these things can many, many, many times be as a result of curses. But thank God that Jesus Christ came. And if there are telltale signs of things opposite to blessings in your life and in my life, we need to stand up and we need to fight for our rights. And I'm believing God tonight. Yokes will be broken from your life and yokes will be broken from my life. I hope you are ready to pray tonight. I want you to say, Lord, I thank you. Say, Lord, I praise you. Say, Lord, I worship you. Say, Lord, I adore you. Say, Lord, I glorify you. Say, Lord, I honor you. Say, Lord, I thank you for the things my ears are hearing. I thank you, Lord God, for the things I'm reading. I thank you, Lord God, for the things I'm praying about. I want you to thank God. I want you to bless the name of the Lord for bringing you to this prayer meeting tonight. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Father, we honor you. We thank you for this prayer meeting tonight. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be allowed by you to lead the prayers. And thank you for giving the people the opportunity to pray the prayers. Father, come and have your way in our midst tonight in the name of Jesus. I want you to thank God for the opportunity he has given you to gather together again with the people of God. Father, I would bless your name for your protection upon our lives. Since we left this place on Friday, thank you for watching over us. Thank you for keeping us. <clears throat> thank you for providing for us. The month is gradually moving to an end. People, before you realize it, September will be here. I want you to thank God for the month that is gradually progressing. And God is enabling you to progress with it. Father, I will praise you for that. We will worship you for that. Thank God, thank God, thank God for the challenges that he has allowed you to successfully confront this month and overcome this month. Oh, what a good God we serve. What a gracious God we serve. He allows challenges to come and there he is because of the sacrifice of Jesus. We overcome them and we get stronger and stronger. I wanted to thank God because all who label themselves as your enemies they are just wasting their time because of what Jesus Christ has done on the cross of Calvary. When all this person who wrote this thing tries that on a true believer who knows how to take his stand against foolishness, they will be surprised that the thing might just very well come back to their heads. Hallelujah. Thank God because all who label themselves as your enemies, they are just wasting your t their time. Demons that have been stationed to fight you, they are in trouble today. Causes that have been sent on assignment, they are going to blow up in the atmosphere today. Father, that is our belief and we thank you in advance for that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Can I ask you to thank God? Because the one who has sustained you till now will continue to build a hedge of protection around you. He has promised I will never leave you. He has promised I will never forsake you. Come on, give him praise, give him glory, give him honor. Thank God that you have conquest. Conquest over sorrow. Conquest over sadness. Thank God. Because you are too blessed to be stressed. Hallelujah. So those who want you stressed with a curse, they will discover that you are so mightily blessed. No curse can work against your life. I want you to thank God for Jesus who came to die. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, he became a curse for us. So he can deliver us from the curses. Father, we praise you because we have the victory in you. But we've got to stand our ground. Even though the victory has been won, we've got to go and claim them. Even though the food has been served, we've got to go to the table and eat them. 
Father, we have come to your table tonight to eat that which you have already provided for us. We pray that you will please help us, help us, help us, help us. I want you to pray that hindrances of sin will not stand in your way. I want you to pray that hindrances of unbelief will not stand in your way. That you'll be able to pray with concentration tonight. Hallelujah. Father, just help us, help us, help us. I pray that you remove every sin of omission, sin of commission, sin of doubt. Because that which is not faith is sin. I want you to pray that the Lord will just cleanse you and wash you and purge you and remove every iniquity from you tonight. So you'll be able to focus on these prayer points and focus on these things and be able to touch God. I want you to plead the blood of Jesus over your life. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus tonight. I plead the blood of Jesus over my house. I plead the blood of Jesus over that which is connected to me, that which belongs to me. I plead the blood of Jesus over them. There will be no counterattack against me as I come against curses. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to pray that the Lord will touch your life like never before in this prayer meeting tonight. God has been touching us every time we come together, but here tonight we are praying especially that the Lord will touch our lives specially. In the mighty name of Jesus, and break whatever needs to be broken, and remove whatever needs to be removed, and destroy whatever needs to be destroyed from our lives. I just want you to pray that whatever God has not placed upon your life, the Lord will dethrone it from your life tonight. God is a God of blessing, all right? So anything that is contrary to blessing is a curse. I want you to pray that the Lord will remove everything contrary to blessing from your life, even as we call upon him tonight. As we intercede to him tonight, he will do great and mighty things among us in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for grace to be able to pray tonight. Yes, I want you to pray for strength to be able to pray tonight. I want you to pray that this prayer time will go so fast that by the time we are able to fit, are about to finish, you will wonder, oh, has the time gone so fast? Father, when your grace is upon our lives, we are able to pray like that. Father, give us the grace. Father, give us the grace. Father, give us the strength. I want you to pray that the Lord will touch your life in a very special way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to pray that if there be anything in your life, yes, if there be anything in my life that are attracting causes into our lives, I want you to plead the blood of Jesus tonight. Say, Lord, if there be anything in the way I think, if there be anything in the way I talk, if there be anything in the way I act that is bringing causes into my life, Papa, I plead the blood of Jesus against them tonight. Papa, I plead the blood of Jesus over my life tonight. Father, I pray that you would destroy anything in me, O oh God. I pray that you would destroy anything about me, O oh God, that is making it possible for causes to stay in my life. I want you to pray, 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 pray tonight that the Lord will touch you. Now, whatever it is that may attract causes into your life, the Lord will separate you from them, separate them from you in the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. I want you to decree tonight, uh, if there be anything about you that is attracting causes into your life, I want you to say, Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus. Say, Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus against them. I want you to pray tonight that whatever you like, that causes also like. Did you hear what I said? I want you to pray tonight that whatever attracts you, but also attracts causes. I want you to pray that the Lord will break that yoke from your life tonight. The Lord will separate you tonight from anything that is attracting you, but also attracting causes. Say, oh Lord, break them from your life tonight. Say, oh Lord, remove me from that tonight. I want you to pray tonight that whatever you love that causes love, whatever you indulge in that causes love. The blood of Jesus will separate you by fire, by force from every single one of those things tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want you to pray tonight that whatever it is that is 
a door opener, whatever it is that open doors for curses to come upon you as a believer, whatever it is that opens doors, this Bible says that curses come not without a cause. The Bible says curses cometh not, but without a curse. I want you to pray that any curses in your life that are allowing curses to come in the name of Jesus, Father, wash me tonight. You know, honestly, I feel like laying on this carpet right here, but I know I will not be able to leave this prayer if I lay down. I just want to lay down before God and just call on God tonight and say, Lord, any curses that are bringing curses into my life, in the name of Jesus, any keys that I hold that is opening the door for curses to alight upon me tonight. Papa, break them, destroy them. You know, sometimes I wonder why we children of God have to struggle with the curses that the people of the world struggle with. The reason many, 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 many times is because there are curses in our life that are bringing the curses into our lives. I hope you get my pronunciation of curses and curses. Papa, if there is any curse, in the name of Jesus, if there is any reason, Papa, in the name of Jesus, if there is anything in my life, oh Lord, that makes it easy for curses to come and light upon me, oh God. Papa, break it tonight. Papa, destroy it tonight. Papa, wash it from me tonight. Ah, Papa, remove it from me tonight in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray, 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 pray tonight. Whatever give curses legal ground. Whatever it is, oh God, <laughs> that gives curses legal ground over me. Papa, I pray that you break it away from me. Take it away from me, oh God. Whatever gives these curses, these ten things, the telltale signs that are manifest in my life, whatever it is that gives them the legal ground to come and stand in me, stand around me, stand against me, challenge me. Papa, deliver me from them tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, Papa, don't let me use my own hand to destroy myself. Uh, don't let me make it easy for curses to stand on me uh, in the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. Uh, anything about me that is attracting curses into my life, uh, Papa, I plead the blood of Jesus tonight. Uh, anything about me, oh God, that is attracting curses into my life, uh, Papa, I plead the blood of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray tonight uh, that whatever you love, uh, that causes love, whatever you like, that causes like, whatever you indulge in, that opens the door for causes to come. Papa, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me tonight. I believe we need to start from there, ladies and gentlemen. Any disobedience in my life, oh God, any rebellion in my life, oh God, any self-will in my life, oh God, any I will do my own thing the way I want it done, Oh God, that is open the door for curses to come upon my life. Papa, break it in me. Oh God, destroy it from me. Papa, take it away from me. Oh God, come on, pray, 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 pray tonight. In the name of Jesus, we shouldn't be struggling like we are struggling. We believers, there is really little or no difference between us and unbelievers. Oh Lord, we pray that you come and deliver us tonight. Let your word, oh God, become real in our lives. Oh God, whatever doors are open to causes in our lives, Papa, shut them tight tonight. Pray, 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 pray where you are tonight. That the Lord will shut every door. The Lord will pull them all down. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight that the Father will destroy the power of any curse that is working against your blessings in the name of Jesus. Say, my Father, my Father, my God, any power of any curse, oh God, uh, that is fighting against your blessings in my life. Uh, Papa, destroy them tonight. Uh, Papa, destroy them tonight. Pray, 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 people, uh, that any curse that is fighting successfully uh, against the blessings of God in your life. Uh, come on, let us talk to God with intensity tonight. Uh, come on, let us talk to God with heart tonight, uh, that any, 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 anything uh, in the name of Jesus, any power, any dominion, 
of any curse uh, that is fighting against blessings in my life. Uh, Papa, remove them in the name of Jesus. Uh, now I want you to be specific now and apply those things to yourself. Uh, if your problem is that you cannot get married, uh, that is not a blessing at 45. Uh, that is not a blessing at 50. Uh, then you can pray that prayer and see any power that is fighting against me having the blessing of a child, uh, of, of, of a husband, uh, of a wife, uh, of pregnancy, of a job, of passing the exam that I need to pass. I want you to pray that the Lord will break them and destroy them tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whatever blessing you are believing God for tonight and you are being restrained from having them, whatever blessings you need to have tonight and there are curses that were spoken in Genesis chapter 3 that are warring against you and fighting against you, say Lord Jesus, break the power Power of the curse and release the power of the blessing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, can I ask you to pray tonight that whatever you should have received that is being prevented by curses, whatever you should have received by now, ah, uh ah, -uh, you should have received this thing by now. Now, what is happening? And everybody say, ah, what are you doing? And they don't know something is restraining you, something is not allowing it to happen. I want you to pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray tonight. Uh, whatever I should have received by now uh, that is being prevented by curses, uh, Papa, let them begin to manifest. Uh, break the power of the curse. Uh, let the blessing begin to manifest uh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Uh, say, Oh Lord, my God, uh, my overdue blessings uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, my blessings that should have come a long, 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 long time ago. Uh, Papa, release them to me tonight. Uh, Papa, Papa, release them to me tonight uh, and every cause that is hindering me, uh, every cause that is not making them happen, uh, Papa, break it, destroy it. Uh, Papa, break it, destroy it. Uh, Papa, remove every cause that is standing in my way, oh God. Uh, whatever I should have received that is being prevented by causes, uh, Papa, let them begin to manifest uh, in the name of Jesus. What a long time, long time, long time blessings uh, that have been delayed. Come on, pray, 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 pray tonight. Uh, it is not God's will that you be delayed this long. Uh, you are trying to pass an exam. You can pass it five attempts, uh, six attempts. Uh, you get pregnant, you lose the first one, lose the second one, lose the third one. Uh, Papa, that's not a blessing. That is a curse. Uh, we pray that you come and open the door, oh God. Uh, even if the curses are not from people, uh, if the curses are medical curses, uh, we break that yoke, oh Lord, by the blood of Jesus uh, who hung on the tree and became a cause for us uh, so we can become a blessing. Uh, Papa, move for me tonight. Uh, Papa, move for the people I'm leading in prayer tonight. Uh, let yokes be broken in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want you to pray that what should have been, uh, that causes are not allowing to be. Uh, I want you to pray tonight what should have happened, uh, that causes are not allowing to happen. Uh, I want you to pray tonight what should have manifested, uh, that causes are not allowing to manifest. Uh, I want you to say, oh Lord, Lord, ha, intervene, oh God. Papa, get involved, oh God. The same business that you are in, that you are struggling with, people that are even unbelievers, they do the same business and they are making money, making a lot of money. But for you, your first business was an uphill task. Your second business was an uphill task. You know something has got to be wrong somewhere. I want you to pray tonight, pray tonight with intensity. Papa, whatever is wrong that my own is struggle. Uh, whatever is wrong that I have to sweat before I get it. Uh, whatever is wrong that I have to struggle before I get anything. Uh, Papa, break the yoke tonight. Come on, pray tonight. Uh, say, oh Lord, uh, break this yoke tonight. Break this yoke tonight, oh God, uh, and deliver me supernaturally, oh God. Uh, deliver me supernaturally tonight, oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh Lord, arise, arise, arise. Arise, arise, arise. Whatever I should have gotten, whatever I should have received that is being prevented by causes, I command you to begin to manifest tonight. Pray, 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 pray. And be specific. Oh, whatever it is that you want to see manifest, be very specific. This thing that I should have received, this thing that I should have had, and is being prevented by causes from manifesting. In the name of Jesus, Papa, let them begin to manifest. Let them begin.
begin to come to pass in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, my God, say whoever it is that is wrongfully causing me, make their exercise to be futile in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. There are people that wrongfully curse you. I want you to pray in the name of Jesus. It will be an exercise in futility in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Come on, say, I break you in the name of Jesus. I said, open your mouth and say, I break you in the name of Jesus. Say, every curse operating in any area of my life, come on, let's break it in the name of Jesus. Come on, break them, break them, break them, break them, break them right now. Say, every curse that is operating in any area of my life right now, every curse that is operating in any area of my life right now, every curse that is operating in my finances right now, any cause that is operating in my marriage right now, every cause that is operating in my ministry right now, I break you in the name of Jesus. I break you. Come on, pray, pray, pray. You got the authority. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it in the name of Jesus. If you are not sure that it is a curse, just tell the Lord, just in case this thing is a curse. Papa, just in case this thing is a curse. Papa, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. You left the man. Did you hear what I said? You left the man and a vow that you will never get married again. I wanted to tell the Lord, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. You never got married to him. You were boyfriend and girlfriend. And now he says, if you don't marry me, you will never get married. And look at how many years have passed. I wanted to say, oh Lord, don't leave me like this. Oh Lord, don't leave me like this. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. In the name of Jesus, Papa, break it. Every curse that is working against my life. Oh God, any area of my life, oh God, any area of my life, oh God, every area of my life, oh God, where causes are operating tonight, I command them to be breaking, broken in the name of Jesus. I break every curse. I want you to pray tonight. Say, I decree and I declare. Say, I decree. Make this decree, people. Say, I decree that no tree of blessing in my life shall ever be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I decree decree tonight. Uh, no tree of blessing uh, will be ever uprooted in my life, oh God. Oh Lord, ah, this is too much. Uh, oh, black people, black people, black people, black people, black magic, black magic. Uh, oh, Spanish people, Santeria, Santeria. White people, white magic. It's all over the world. I want you to pray tonight that every power, every curse uh, operating in any area of my life, Father, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me tonight. Uh, every tree of blessing in my life, oh God, that has been uprooted. Uh, Papa, replant them for me in the name of Jesus. Uh, every tree of blessing in my life that has been taken out. Uh, every tree of blessing in my life that has been uprooted. Uh, Papa, plant it for me again. Papa, plant it for me again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Uh, I want you to pray for reestablishment. Uh, I want you to pray for reconnection. Uh, everything that has been disconnected will be reconnected for you. Uh, everything that causes have disconnected, uh, blessings of God will reconnect for you tonight. Uh, everything that is yours uh, that has been broken and torn down, uh, the Lord will build them up again tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, no tree of blessing in your life, uh, no tree of blessing in my life uh, shall ever be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want you to pray tonight. Uh, Say, oh Lord, say, oh Lord, where they have been uprooted, Papa, replant them for me tonight. Papa, replant them for me tonight. Papa, replant them for me tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to pray another prayer tonight? Say, whatever blessings, causes are preventing in my life. Say, whatever blessings, causes are preventing from coming into my life. Say, Papa, destroy them in the name of Jesus. Let the blessing begin to manifest by fire, by force. Whatever blessing that causes 
are preventing uh, from manifesting in my life. Uh, whatever blessings uh, that causes are preventing uh, from coming to pass in my life. Uh, Papa, bring them, let them manifest. Uh, begin to manifest, begin to manifest, begin to manifest. Uh, can I ask you to pray tonight? Uh, every blessing that has been imprisoned in curses, uh, every blessing that has been co- increasing by curses, uh, every blessing that has been tied up by curses, uh, every blessing that has been stolen by curses, uh, manifest, uh, manifest, uh, manifest, uh, manifest uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, every blessing that has been sat on, uh, I command it, the powers that are sitting on your blessings uh, to rise up by fire, by force, uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, whatever problem in my life, uh, defy solution, oh God, uh, because of curses, uh, whatever problem in my life, uh, defy solution, uh, because of curses, uh, Papa, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, oh God, Papa, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, oh God, uh, whatever problem is in my life right now, is in my life of my loved one, uh, is in my life of my children, uh, whatever problem is, is in my academic life, uh, whatever problem is in my body concerning my health, uh, that is just hindering me, uh, that is defying solution. Uh, can I ask you to pray tonight that the Lord would deliver you, deliver you, deliver you, deliver you, whatever problem in my life defies solution. Uh, the Lord will deliver you from the causes between, behind them. Uh, can I tell you something? Is the causes that is making them to stay alive. Once the causes are broken, uh, the breakthrough will come. Uh, I want you to pray tonight, pray tonight, pray tonight, pray tonight. Uh, whatever has been spoken contrary to your blessing, uh, whatever has been issued contrary to your blessing, uh, whatever sacrifices have been issued contrary to your blessing, uh, the Lord will come and deliver you. The Lord will come and deliver you. Can I ask you to pray another prayer tonight? Uh, say, oh Lord, uh, he used to be blessed before, but now he's no more blessed. Uh, let it never be my portion. Let it never be my portion. Let it never be my portion. Uh, he used to have, uh, but he doesn't have any more. Uh, he used to be glorious, uh, but he fall- he's, that's no glory at all now. Uh, Papa, I pray that no curse will be able to take my blessing from me. No curse will be able to take my glory from me. No curse will be able to take my breakthrough from me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, I want you to pray tonight. Uh, every household of curses against your life uh, will catch fire tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh Lord, send your fire into the powers of the curses working against me tonight. Uh, Papa, send your fire. If it is under the water, send your fires. Uh, if it is inside the rock, send your fire. If it is inside the bush, Father, send your fire. Wherever they have gone to make such a cause this strong, uh, wherever they have gone to make such a cause this powerful, uh, that I shake it, it will not shake. Uh, that I pray against it, it's still staying there. Say tonight, burn it down, oh God. Papa, burn down the powers of the curses that are hindering my breakthrough and hindering my blessings. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray, oh, he used to be blessed, oh, but he's no more blessed, oh. Say, Lord, it shall not be my portion. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, he used to be blessed, he used to be strong, he used to be mighty, he used to be anointed, he used to have money, he used to have brain, he used to have intelligence, but now everything is taken away by a curse. It shall not be my portion. It shall not be your portion. It shall not be my portion. It shall not be your portion. I want you to pray to now. Ah, I just remember somebody on this prayer line, and I'm going to use this person as a prayer point. I want you to pray tonight. What my friends have, what my equals have, and causes will not let me have. Papa, break the yoke tonight in the name of Jesus. What my friends enjoy, what my colleagues enjoy, and causes will not let me enjoy. Papa, break that yoke for me tonight in the name of Jesus. Break that yoke for me tonight. What my friends are enjoying, what my colleagues are enjoying, what my family members are enjoying, but causes will not let me enjoy. Papa, break that yoke tonight and let me move in. Let me move in and begin to enjoy it in the name of Jesus. You say, whatever I lay my hands on shall prosper. I want you to pray tonight. Causing, making blessings difficult to come your way. Command it to break in the 
name of Jesus, uh, that from now on, uh, whatever you lay your hands on will turn to blessings. Uh, I want you to pray that every cause resisting your blessings, uh, every cause resisting your blessings from coming, uh, the Lord will break them. The Lord will remove them. The Lord will remove them. Every curse uh, that is hindering your blessing, the river of your blessing uh, from flowing. Uh, oh Lord, uh, every curse uh, that is blocking my blessings from flowing, uh, the river of my blessings uh, that are being damned. Uh, I want you to pray tonight the Lord will destroy the curses uh, that are damning the, 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 the flow of the river, the stream uh, of blessings in your life. Uh, there are poor dams there so everything is held up. Uh, it's not that you are not blessed. Uh, it's the curses that are hindering the blessings from flowing towards you. Uh, Papa, I reject it. Uh, Papa, I reject it in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want you to plead the blood of Jesus. Uh, say, Lord, I plead the sacrifice of Jesus. Uh, say, Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus uh, against all causes in my life, uh, all generational causes. Come on, let's come against them. Uh, in the name of Jesus, all generational causes upon my life. Uh, I plead the blood of Jesus against them tonight. Uh, come on, pray, 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 pray tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, say whatever your family is known for that is opposite of a blessing. Uh, the Lord will exempt you tonight. The Lord will exempt you tonight. Uh, there are families where they never get married. Uh, there are families where they never have this, they never have that. Uh, I want you to pray tonight. Uh, whatever causes are known for your family uh, or your husband's family uh, or your wife's family, uh, the causes will break concerning you tonight. Uh, I exempt myself. Come on, pray, pray, pray tonight. Uh, exempt yourself uh, from whatever you are known for in your family. Uh, exempt your oh God, uh, from whatever you are known for in your family. Uh, in the name of Jesus, everybody has children, uh, but nobody has a spouse. Uh, I want you to command that yoke to break with you uh, and not pass over to your children. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, say whatever causes fought my parents uh, that are fighting me right now. Uh, I destroy you by fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, whatever causes fought my parents. Uh and they are fighting me right now, O oh Lord. Win the battle for me, Lord Jesus. Whatever causes are fighting me, they shall not flow to my children, O oh God. Born or unborn, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Whatever causes are fighting me shall end with me, O oh God. It shall never spill over to my descendants. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus was a curse for me. Come on, pray, pray, pray tonight. Because Jesus was a curse for me. He made his power reverse. The power of Jesus. May he reverse every curse walking against me right now. Pray, 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 pray. Say, oh Lord, because you are a curse for me on the tree. Let that power tonight reverse every curse that is walking against me right now, right now, right now be reversed. Every curse in my life right now be reversed. Every curse in my life and against my life right now be reversed reversed. Every cause that I will not stay in a husband's house be reversed in the name of Jesus. Every cause that it says I will live in poverty for the rest of my life be reversed right now. Every cause that says I will be dependent on others for the rest of my life reversed right now in the name of Jesus. Every cause that says I will beg and borrow for the rest of my life be reversed, be reversed, be reversed, be reversed, be reversed. Pray, 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 pray tonight. In the name of Jesus, say, Lord Jesus, remember you are a curse for me, O God. Let your power reverse every curse working against me right now. All curses, all curses, all curses, all curses. Let's go to what they said. <laughs> now we are going to take the secrets of the enemy and use them as weapons for prayer tonight. I hope you are ready. I said, I hope you are ready. Say, all curses manifesting in dreams attacks uh, be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, they said when you are under a curse you will have nightmares. Uh, in the name of Jesus we know it's possible and it may not be possible uh, but we want to pray for safety tonight. Uh, all curses that are manifesting in dream attacks
attacks. I command you destroyed in the name of Jesus. All dream attacks, all dream attacks in the name of Jesus. You are causes to me. I command you to be broken. I want you to pray against animals that come against you in your dreams. In the name of Jesus, snakes and scorpions and, and bears and lions. I want you to pray that the Lord will break every curse that projects them into your dreams to come and fight you. Animals with big horns running and chasing you. Say, I reject your companionship in my dreams. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to pray wherever you are tonight. I want you to pray that persistent and recurring bad dreams. That curse will be broken tonight. Every persistent and recurring bad dreams. They just come all the time and cut your hair in your dreams. They come all the time and naked you in your dreams. I want you to pray every curse, every curse, every curse, every curse. That manifests in your dreams. They will stop their manifestation and be destroyed permanently. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nazareth. I want you to pray that all spiritual contaminations uh, troubling your life in your dreams, uh, all spiritual contaminations, uh, people coming to defile you in your dreams, uh, you find yourself smoking cigarette in your dreams, uh, and you wonder what's all this now? I want you to pray every spiritual contamination uh, trouble my, troubling my dream life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, command them to catch fire right now. Uh, in the name of Jesus, command them to catch fire right now. Papa, I decree that they catch fire right now. Uh, every cause of spiritual contamination uh, troubling any area of my life. Uh, Papa, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. I want you to pray that whatever you are suffering right now, right now, this minute, uh, right now, this second, uh, whatever I'm suffering right now that is as a result of a curse, uh, that is as a result of a hex, uh, command it to catch fire, command it to catch fire, command it to catch fire. You may not know, you may think it's natural. You may not know, you may think it's normal. You may not know, you may think it's okay. But if it is not a blessing, it is not okay. Did you hear what I said? If it is not a blessing, it is not okay. Say whatever I'm suffering right now, oh God, that is as a result of a curse. Papa, break them. If it's as a result of a hex, Papa, set it on fire. If it's as a result of a jinx, Papa, set it on fire tonight. Can I ask you to pray tonight? Say every loss of energy, every unexplainable tiredness, rooted in curses. Be destroyed from today from my body in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you had it from their secret. Oh, you will just get tired and you'll be asking yourself, What did I do? Eh, what did I do? I didn't even go to work yesterday and now I don't have any energy. And the doctor said, My heart is okay. The doctor said, I'm fine, and yet I don't have energy. I want you to pray to now where you they have spent your energy with a curse. The Lord will replenish your energy right now in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that unexplainable loss of energy, unexplainable tiredness rooted in causes, command it to be destroyed from your body tonight. Command them to be destroyed from your body tonight. In the name of Jesus, Father, destroy them. In the name of Jesus, Papa, destroy them. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray tonight. Every sickness in your body tonight that are rooted and 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 and. and and connected to causes. Every sickness in my body tonight that are planted by causes, that are rooted in causes, I wanted to tell the Lord to uproot every sickness in your body that is as a result of a curse. In the name of Jesus, every sickness in my body right now that is not natural, every sickness in my body right now that is not medical, every sickness in my body right now because somebody spoke something against me, Papa, I break it, I destroy it in the name of Jesus, destroy the curse that is powering any sickness in our bodies tonight. I want you to pray tonight to oh, Lord Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, come on, call his name. Say, Lord Jesus, say all health issues that defy solutions. Mm. Mm. All health issues uh, that defy solution uh, because of curses. Uh, I break your power from my life tonight. Uh, I destroy your power in my life tonight. Uh, I said all health issues. Uh, you've gone to the doctors. They've given you medication upon medication. I mean, your, your, your closet looks like a pharmacist. I want you to pray tonight. Uh, the Lord will look down upon you in his mercy uh, and remove this. Uh, the promise of God is a blessing of good health. 
Uh, I want you to remind God of that tonight. Uh, say your promise to me that I may be in health uh, even as my soul prospers. Uh, and by your grace I have prosperity of soul. Uh, Papa, if there is no prosperity in the body, then there is something wrong somewhere. I want you to pray if anybody is speaking against your health, uh, the Lord will shut them down in the name of Jesus. Uh, if anybody is talking against your health, uh, the Lord will slap that mouth that is talking tonight. Uh, oh God of judgment, uh, I want you to pray to the God of judgment tonight. Uh, say, Lord, come down with your judgment tonight. Uh, every sickness in my body uh, planted by curses, oh God, uh, let it be uprooted and go back to where it came from. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every sickness, every disease, uh, every affliction in this little body of mine uh, that is as a result of curses, uh, I pray that it will be uprooted. Uh, I pray that it will be taken away uh, and sent back where it came from. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, Papa, it did not come from you. It came from them. Uh, they planted it in my body while I was asleep. Uh, they planted it in my body when they gave me food to when they gave me food to eat. Uh, they planted it in my body when they gave me soda to drink. Uh, Papa, uproot it and take it back to them. Take it back to them. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I wanted to pray against health issues. Uh, health issues uh, that defy solution. Uh, I mean, you've been on this thing for fifteen years, twenty years, uh, and you have learned to live with it. Uh, the law can break it just like that uh, if the curse will expire. I want you to pray tonight uh, that the curses that are powering evil in your life, uh, the curses that are powering evil in your life, uh, may God make them to expire right now. Uh, Papa, make them to expire right now. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, I want you to pray that all depression, uh, all gloominess, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, all thoughts of suicide, uh, all thoughts of depression uh, that refuse to go away uh, will lose their hold upon you tonight. Uh, you remember what he wrote. Uh, he said many, many, many times uh, the gloominess that people feel, uh, the depression that people feel, uh, and they refuse to go uh, is as a result of a curse working against them. Uh, I agree it is not always, uh, but why don't you pray just in case? Uh, anyway, whether it is from them or not, uh, it is still not a blessing. Uh, Papa, remove all gloominess from anyone in this prayer line. Uh, remove all depression from anyone in this prayer line. Uh, remove all thoughts of wickedness from anyone in this prayer line. Uh, I want you to pray tonight, pray tonight, pray tonight. Uh, that causes that are causing allergies, uh, causes that are causing nagging headaches, uh, causes that are causing panic attacks, uh, fear of leaving your home, uh, fear of driving, uh, fear of climbing. Uh, I want you to pray that the Lord will break those causes from your life tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, whether they came for you or you inherited them from somewhere, the Jesus that died on the cross uh, died so that causes can be broken. Uh, Papa, break every strange cause in my life, uh, strange illnesses. Uh, did you hear what? <laughs> Lord Jesus, uh, any curse uh, causing strange illnesses, uh, command those causes to break by fire tonight. Uh, any curse uh, causing strange illnesses in your body, causing strange illnesses in your life. Uh, tell the Lord to break and destroy them tonight. Uh, any curse that is causing strange illnesses, uh, any cause that is causing strange illnesses in my life, uh, Papa, let them break, let them be destroyed. Uh, Papa, let them break, let them be destroyed. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, I want you to lay hand on yourself tonight. Oh, say unexplainable pains uh, in my body uh, rooted in curses uh, receive healing right now in the name of jesus uh, say unexplainable pains come on pray 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 unexplainable pains in your body uh, in the name of jesus uh, it is a curse it is not a blessing uh, whether it is from the devil or it is from the powers of darkness uh, or it is from people uh, it is still not a blessing uh, so even if these people are just claiming credit and it's not from them uh, still it is not a blessing. I want you to pray tonight on unexplainable pains, unexplainable sicknesses in my body that doctors look at me and they say, oh, you shouldn't be having this thing. We don't see any reason for this. I want you to pray the Lord will remove them. The Lord will approve them. You will receive your healing. You will receive your deliverance from every unexplainable pain, unexplainable pain, unexplainable pain, unexplainable pain in the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Uh, I want you to pray, pray, pray tonight. Uh, maybe you had COVID-19 uh, and you have been healed from COVID-19, uh, but the symptoms still remain. Uh, I want you to command it to pack its load and leave you alone tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, don't believe what they wrote in the papers uh, that it is normal. Uh, for a child of God, it is abnormal. Uh, say every residue of COVID-19 in my life, uh, I have tested negative, uh, but I still feel the symptoms. Uh, symptoms die with your curse. Uh, COVID-19, you are not a blessing, you are a curse. Uh, you and your symptoms uh, die of my life. Uh, and if you know any man or any woman that has been made free, uh, but they are having these symptoms still, uh, I want you to pray that the Lord will deliver them, set them free, oh God, uh, unexplain unexplainable pains. Uh, Papa, remove them from our bodies, all curses, uh, all curses, uh, causing pains that cannot be explained, uh, causing sicknesses that cannot be explained. Uh, Papa, take them out, take them out, take them out, take them out. Uh, I want us to pray that causes of financial loss. Uh, that's what they said. Oh, I didn't say it, oh, but I know it's true. Uh, causes of financial loss. Uh, oh, I know people that had money in Africa, very rich people, and all of a sudden, nothing, nothing. Uh, they have been cleaned out. Uh, I wanted to pray that causes that have cleaned me out financially. I command you to break right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, causes that have taken me out financially, all causes of financial loss, uh, breaking my life, uh, all causes of financial loss, uh, break from my life, uh, all causes of financial loss, uh, break from my life by fire, break from my life by fire, every cause holding on to my finances, uh, loose it and let me go, uh, loose my money and let me go, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I wanted to pray that causes that are tying up your money, in the name of Jesus. Uh, causes that are tying up your money, uh, the Lord will break them and remove them from you tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, money that should have come, uh, blessings that should have come, uh, but causes keep keeping them away from you. Uh, say, oh Lord, uh, release it, release it, release it, release it, break it, break the curse, uh, break the curse, oh God, uh, whatever has been done to keep these blessings from coming, uh, whatever has been put together to keep these blessings from coming, uh, let let it be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken. I want you to pray that all causes, uh, making it difficult to have what could make you make money. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, if God just opens this door, you will have more money. But a cause keeps the door shut. Uh, eh, come against that cause now, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Papa, all causes making it difficult uh, to have what could make me more money. Uh, I command them open. Uh, if you pass that exam, then you get promoted. Uh, if you pass that interview, but then you get promoted. Uh, but the enemy keeps blocking you and keeps standing in your way. Say, Lord, I reject it in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want you to pray tonight. Causes that are fighting stable and happy relationships. Hey! Hmm. 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 This one is serious. Oh, Say, oh Lord, causes that are fighting stable Happy relationships. Oh Lord, break them tonight by fire in the name of Jesus. Papa, break them for me tonight by fire in the name of Jesus. Every hex, every jinx, every curse, fighting stable and happy relationship in my life. Papa, let them be broken, let them be broken, let them be broken, let them be broken. They see me and my wife, they don't know the battles we, we, we fight. They see us on Sunday, everything they think is okay. Lord, I pray tonight the sourness in my marriage that is as a result of a spoken curse because of somebody I ought to have married and I didn't marry. Oh Lord, because of somebody who feel offended in my wife's house or in my husband's house or anybody, anywhere who oh God break the curse, break the curse, break the curse. Every cause that is hindering happiness. Every cause that is hindering unity. Every cause that is hindering, oh God, stability in my marriage, oh God. Papa, release it, release it, release it and let me go. I want you to pray to my causes that turn sweet relationships into sour relationship. It used to be sweet, oh sweet 16. Now it is so sour. Sour do. I want you to pray tonight. Whatever it is that has turned joy into sadness. I want you Lord to break that yoke tonight. Every curse 
finding stability in my marriage, uh, whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever it is, uh, that has turned a stable relationship into a sour relationship. Uh, Papa, deliver me, break that yoke, uh, and let it lose its hold upon me tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, I want you to pray that your sleep, your sleep, your sleep. Uh, say, oh Lord, touch my sleep tonight. Uh, remove every curse upon my sleep in the name of Jesus. Uh, many of you remember when you used to sleep you used to sleep that people have to wake you up to be able to get up but now three o'clock you are up two o'clock you are up and to get back to sleep it will be five o'clock before you sleep say lord break this curse he giveth his beloved sleep you know i want you to pray tonight that this lack of blessing of sleep the lord will take it away from you in the name of jesus all causes resulting in sleep problems receive the touch of god tonight and be destroyed by fire tonight. Uh, all causes in my life uh, that are affecting my sleep. Uh, Papa, let them be broken. I command that challenge uh, to be broken, oh God. Uh, somebody says, well, my own challenge is that I just cannot sleep. Uh, that's a cause. It's not a blessing. Uh, command that cause to break. Uh, and from today, be able to sleep without any medication. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, can I ask you to pray that all legal problems, uh, all legal problems uh, connected to you and your loved ones uh, that as a result of curses uh, the law will dissolve them the law will destroy them uh, in the name of jesus when they awarded you that son uh, when they awarded you that daughter uh, the one that was disallowed uh, has vowed that you will not enjoy that boy uh, that you will not enjoy that girl uh, and that's how to open down up and down up and down one legal problem after the other you cannot enjoy the boy they cannot enjoy the boy i want you to tell the Lord, break this yoke, oh God. These people are wicked, oh. If they are not awarded the children, they will not allow you to enjoy the children. You people that are enjoying the children that are awarded to you, you better be thanking God that you did not meet a wicked person that would take your name here, take your name there, take the name of your children and command them not to enjoy you and command you not to enjoy them. But right here, right now, we break that yoke. Right here, right now, we destroy that yoke. All legal problems on my business. Uh, all legal problems uh, in my family, uh, all legal problems uh, in my marriage. Uh, Papa, I pray that you will break them uh, and the causes that are behind them uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want you to pray tonight. They said they have 10 things, so 10 signs uh, that you are under a curse. Uh, may be true, may not be true, but I want you to pray tonight. Every ill luck. Did you hear what I said? every ill luck and every misfortune that is projected into your life from causes. Let it return to where it came from in tonight. In the name of Jesus, say, I am not your candidate. Return to where you came from. All ill luck, all misfortune that are projected into... Have you ever seen some people, they never get good luck. They, they always have misfortune because there is something projected into their lives. Command the causes to pack their load and return where they came from tonight. Uh, I'm not your candidate. Say it. Uh, say I'm not the candidate of ill luck. Uh, I'm not the candidate of misfortune. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, can I ask you to pray another prayer? I saw it in the right up. Oh, attacks. 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 Attacks that come in waves. When you rest from one for two weeks, another one comes. That one goes, another one comes. That one goes, you rest for one month, another one comes. I want you to pray that attacks that come in waves burn up right now in the name of Jesus. May the curses that are behind them burn up right now in the name of Jesus. Powers that are powering attacks that come in waves. Curses that are powering attacks that come in waves. I break you and I burn you up in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray against 
automatic troubles, oh Lord Jesus. Say automatic troubles, automatic afflictions, set in motion by causes against my life. Expire, 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 expire tonight. Expire, 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 expire tonight. Automatic troubles, automatic afflictions, automatic sicknesses. Every three, three months you must have the sickness. Every two, two months you have, must have the sickness. Something is wrong. I know of a lady when I was in the South. Every March, this time of the year, oh no, sickness upon sickness upon sickness. Every March, her own sickness comes in March. Until we prayed for her and broke it. Let's pray tonight. Every cause that comes upon anyone. Mm. Every sickness, every trouble, every automatic trouble, automatic affliction that comes in the month of March, that comes in the month of April, that comes before any season, that comes before winter, that comes before summer, that comes before spring. I command you to break from my life, break from my life, break from my life, break from my life, expire from my life. I wish we had more time. Let me give you one more prayer point before we go tonight. Say in the name name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, say from now on, say from now on, I decree that it will get better and better for me. It will not get worse and worse. In the name of Jesus, say from now on, oh, I decree, I decree, I decree, I decree. It will get better and better for me. It will not get worse and worse for me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in everything that I do in life, oh God, I decree in the name of Jesus it will get better and better for me, oh God. It will not remain stagnant. It will not get worse and worse. I'm glad I remember that. It will not get worse, but it will be stagnant. I want you to pray tonight. It will not get, it will not go backwards. It will not stay in the same place. It will move forward in the name of Jesus. Papa, it will not get worse and worse for me. It will get better and better for me, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, because the power that powers them to get worse is broken tonight. My my store, my business, my children, my marriage, everything about my health, let it get better and better and better and better. Maybe you have been sick for a while and you are recovering. I want you to get better and better. Say, Lord, let it get better and better. Whatever is getting better, let it get better and better. Not better and worse. Not going back was for going forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to thank God. Begin to bless Him. Begin to worship Him. Begin to adore Him. Thank God for answering your prayers tonight. Thank God for giving you the desires of your heart tonight. Glory be to His name tonight. Honor be to His name tonight. Dominion be to His name tonight. Come on, give Him praise. Give Him glory. Give Him honor. Give Him dominion in the name of Jesus. I apologize. Oh, I apologize. I left my iPad and I was praying all around the room. If you didn't hear my voice, I'm sorry. That was the last prayer. I hope you are praying it nonetheless. I'm sorry I just left it and I had my phone with me. <laughs> oh God! I just got carried away. Now I want you to pray tonight. I want you to pray tonight. For me, it will get better and better. It will not get worse and worse. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Papa, let it get better and better for me. Don't let it get worse and worse for me, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, bless his holy name. Worship him, adore him, honor him, and give him glory tonight. And give him praise tonight. Glory be to his name for answering our prayers tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this sweet hour of prayer. We thank you for the opportunity to come before you tonight. Lord, we prayed to you about mountains and you answered our prayers. Lord, we prayed to you about enemy, enmity. You answered our prayers. We prayed to you about sorrows. You answered our prayers. And here is a big one. Curses, curses, curses. We are confident because Jesus Christ hung on the tree. He became a curse for us. So whatever curses we brought to this prayer line, Lord Jesus, take the broom of heaven. 
Sweep them out of our lives permanently. Take, O oh God, the blood of Jesus. Uh, sprinkle it upon our lives. Bathe us with it and make us free and free indeed. We thank you because as we pray the last prayer, it shall get better. It shall not get worse. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you all so much for joining us tonight. I have to apologize for those of you, to those of you on the podcast. I just left my equipment in one spot. And I took the telephone that I was using for the, those on the prayer line and I roamed away from it until I came back to you and I said, what is this one doing there? Yeah, I disconnected from you for a while, even though you must have been hearing my voice afar off. I hope you stayed. I hope you prayed because that which is gone forever is gone forever and it will get better and better for you in Jesus name. Amen. And amen. I bless the name of the Lord for you. Please don't forget prayer continues tomorrow. And I hope you'll be here at seven o'clock on the dot or whatever that time is concerning wherever you are in the world. Just find the equivalent time for seven o'clock New York time. Let us share the grace as we go home tonight and then we'll be back tomorrow for more. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. In the name of Jesus. Go and rest. Until tomorrow when we meet again. Good night.